Hello, hello, Dr. Cliff, your movement recovery specialist, and welcome back to Breakfast at the Office. Special Mayorga Coffee Tasting Edition. Today, we're going to try two different coffees that I got in the mail uh, about a week ago. And this is the first one of the two. This is small batch roasted whole bean coffee, medium roast, roast masters blend. 100% Arabica, 100% organic. I like this company, um, not just because they sent me this coffee for free to try out, but they uh, manufacture all their stuff with wind energy, so they're earth friendly. And also, they really try to help the people in these uh, parts of the world. You know, there's this strip along the globe where most of the coffee grows because of the conditions, both weather-wise and there just happens to be volcanoes in a lot of those areas, too, where the, the soil is better for it. There happens to be a lot of poor areas in the country, you know, or world. I mean, Africa, Latin America, Indonesia. And this company tries to not take advantage of the native people so much. So on the back of the bag, it's probably a little small for you to read, but it says, our purpose to eliminate systemic poverty in Latin America through responsible trade of artisanal organic foods. And uh, it tells you a little bit about we build direct long-term relationships with the farmers and the co-ops that fo focus on organic shade-grown specialty coffee and uh, just they learn about the challenges that people face with the climate and you know all kinds of other unscrupulous business practices that go on now, let's talk about the coffee it smells good, and I haven't even opened the bag. It's a sealed tight, airtight bag, and the stuff is so strong that it's working its way right out. Whoa. Tell you what, for a medium roast, it has more aroma than a lot of dark roasts do. That bread, bakery type smell, Almost like burnt toast, but not burnt. Like a like a dark roast would be like like really caramelized type of a tiny bit of smokiness, but definitely not overpowering. Um, and a little bit of earthiness, like some leaves or something. It smells really good. I see just a little bit of coffee oils on the beans, even though they aren't real dark you know typically i enjoy a dark roast but i think i'm gonna like this anyways i'll try holding these up to the camera sometimes you can see them sometimes not they have a little bit of oil on even though they're a fairly light roast so i'm gonna uh, grind these guys up roast away and then i'll get back to talking to you and tell you what I think.
final product all brewed up drinking this out of my sexy buffalo oyster mug I talked about in the last video I got it from Happy Trails Hiking they didn't just send it to me I bought it because it's a good deal beautiful pictures I'm so excited about my buffalo that I just kind of talked about buffaloes but they take uh, pictures from a lot of national parks and there's a lot of landscapes that people like too uh, not everybody likes a big woolly beast uh, my wife does <laughs> not everybody likes animal pictures as much as like maybe a waterfall you know or um, red rocks let me show you something all right warning for those of you that get kind of like motion sickness i don't have a sexy ten thousand dollar camera or something and i'm gonna move it with it on so it might be a little bit shaking it'd be like the blair witch project except inside my office so over here on the wall i have this poster yeah th they didn't take this picture the national park took this picture probably like 30 years ago because that's when i got the poster but look at these beautiful rocks in Bryce Canyon, right? Who doesn't like big red sandstone with like hundreds of different shades of red and orange? And it's just amazing. Well, this is one of the things that they took pictures of that you can get a poster of, a t-shirt of, a mug like I got. We'll set everybody back down here. Now, spinning back around here. Oh, oh. Let's not fall off the chair. Okay, I'm back. Sitting down safely. So, there's a lot of different fun things you can get there. And it's affordable. You have to pay a little bit of shipping. But, you know, they make good gifts. So, let's talk about the coffee. It smells much different than it did in the bean form. Kind of like hay. And I can see a lot of coffee oils on top, so it's nice and fresh, roasted. See what it tastes like. Tastes nice. I think Kayla liked this one. It tastes a lot like the eight o'clock that she likes. It has a little bit of a grassy taste almost. Uh, like the one we had from Papua New Guinea, probably at least a month ago. Uh, I think it was like probably the third or fourth coffee I reviewed in the in the series before this that we did all coffees. I'll stick a link up here somewhere. I think that way. Getting a little confused with which side, because I'm sitting at a different angle. It shouldn't be that complicated to know where the little sign comes. Up above! That's, that's always safe that way. So, tastes kind of like the coffee from Papua New Guinea, even though this is from the totally opposite side of the world. But it's nice. Not that dark smoky taste that I like the most, but... It's light kind of grassy taste and then it has something else after I don't know if it's because it's so fresh and it's the coffee oils but it really kind of fills up my mouth you know I talked about that with the yogurts months ago in the, the yogurt series where some of the full fat yogurts kind of just filled up your whole mouth this coffee does that which is unusual Taste, I would give it an 8 out of 10. And probably only because it's not my favorite roast style. If it if it was a little bit darker or had just a little bit more hint of like smokiness in it, I'd probably give it a 9 plus. So, 8 out of 10. Well done, roast master. I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back and we will try the second one, which I believe is a uh, special winter edition version. 
I'm assuming that means it'll be a little hardier, you know, fight off all the uh, lizards that I get here in South Florida. No, seriously, it is going to be like 30 something degrees this weekend. I might need some special okay, winter edition back. coffee. Okay, got a little sidetracked. This isn't even the same day. We'll splice it all together and uh, hopefully I remember what I said before. Patience showed up or something like that. You know, work gets in the way of YouTube sometimes. But we're going to have this second uh, winter blend dark roast. It says it's sweet vanilla and cocoa overtones. And it smells amazing. Just like the other one right through the bag. So I'm going to go blend this up quick. Then we'll be back here to taste it and see what we have to say. All right, I'm busy brewing up the uh, winter blend, but when I poured it out uh, to grind, I just noticed how dark it is and shiny because it's pulling those oils out. Um, and I wanted to show you the comparison between the two beans. Now remember, this is the first one we had, the Roastmasters Special Limited Blend uh, Medium Roast. And this is the one I'm brewing right now, the Winter Blend Dark Roast. This is what they look like before you grind them up, right? This is the Roastmaster Medium, and you would say, oh, that's pretty dark, until, whew, look at that. You got one that's kind of a chocolatey brown, and one that looks almost black they're so dark and you can see a little bit of shininess like some coffee oils coming out here but these ones look almost like they'd feel wet when you pick them up that's the difference between the two roast levels taste wise well the coffee should be done brewing in the other room so let me go get it and we'll find out so here's our winter blend. I got in my sexy mug just like last time. Remember, if you want a mug like this with a big woolly beast on, or uh, mugs that have scenes from different national parks, like the Bryce Canyon picture I showed you earlier in the video, um, check it out over at Happy Trails Hiking. Let's see what this tastes like. It smells good. Doesn't smell as strong as I would expect compared to the beans when they're dry. The beans when they're dry smell very strong. This uh, it's kind of average, average smell. Not overpowering, but you can tell it's coffee. It's nice. It's smoother than a lot of these dark roasts. Um, just a hint of that bitterness that a lot of darker roasts have in the middle, but a smooth taste overall. Uh, I get a little bit of the cocoa. I don't really get the vanilla, but you know, sometimes as the temperature changes, you get different things out of it, or depending on what you're eating with it. It does taste a little bit sweet, which usually is more common in the medium roast. Uh, so if you were eating something sweet with it, it probably would bring that out more. I'm eating nothing with it, and I'm drinking it black. So also if you added some cream or something, it, it probably would bring out some of those other flavors a little bit more like the vanilla. I don't notice that so much. Um, Definitely the cocoa, and definitely just like a nice roasty, you know, roasted flavor. Smooth, which I know I've already said, but it's just surprising how smooth for a, a dark roast and how strong it smells and how I showed you those beans that are so dark. I like this one a lot. Um, I definitely will look for it next winter again. I don't need to rush out and buy like four bags of it right now before it's gone because I have a whole stockpile of coffee from the coffee reviews still. 
it says on the side here, which is interesting to me, that uh, it comes from three countries. So this is a blend of a bunch of the different local farmers they deal with in Nicaragua, Peru, and Honduras. I like this one a lot. This is going to be my favorite of the two. I think Kay will probably like the medium one a little better, but I'm going to send her some of both since I have so much coffee. Because for a dark roast, which she usually likes more of a medium, this is a pretty balanced, uh, friendly dark roast. It, it basically just has a little bit more flavor and kind of lingers a little longer after you drink it. It doesn't taste like you got, you know, punched in the face or something when you drink it or you're drinking something with tar in it or like some of the stronger dark roasts do. So, that's the comparison of two coffees. If you like this video and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's that red button down here in the corner. Uh, if you're already subscribed, thank you for coming back. If you are fairly new to the channel and somehow missed uh, Breakfast at the Office Season 4, that was all coffee reviews, so you probably want to go back and check some of those out. Until next time, remember, life is a strength sport, so get stronger and get living.